Guys, today we want to see the commissioning procedure for autopilot computer and the pump, but we don't want to be blind, we want to see all process that are happening there. Well, maybe not all, but at least uh, voltage, probably currents. Uh, I will use this rig that I designed myself. I don't cover this in this video because you can watch the video about this rig. So currently I have a link in between the computer and autopilot pump. It's also covered in the video about this rig. So I plug it here to monitoring the voltage that will be set by the computer. Uh, these things are for steering uh, the autopilot pump. Uh, this is PWM module. We will not use it this time. So it is covered in another video. We just use a small part just here. Basically, we are uh, monitoring the voltage. Uh, uh, I also connected a current prop there on the cable so we can see the current. I'm not yet sure if we will see it. So our purpose to see what voltage is applied uh, by the computer during, during this commissioning. And in fact, the commissioning that we are talking about will be here in autopilot, installation, dock side, rudder feedback, rudder feedback, virtual rudder feedback calibration. So, autopilot, dock side, commissioning, VRF calibration. Because I don't have any rudder here, and that's what we will be doing now. First thing it asks uh, to center the rudder. It means that I am rotating the steering wheel to make the middle and then go to the next. And you have seen, guys, the next step it was try to turn uh, the rudder so basically rotate the autopilot pump there uh, to the starboard and we don't notice any voltages anywhere because it starts from the small voltage it's try to rotate starboard when i re uh, respond no it will s uh, try to apply the same small voltage on the left side or on the port side and uh, guys now i tell you what i want to see i want to see at which voltage I will feel more or less uh, good movement. So you need to reply yes when you have a strong movement, in that case on the starboard, yeah? Uh, you don't want to uh, respond yes when you see a little movement. Otherwise, uh, when you are boating in the water, uh, it will not have enough power, enough voltage to do steering. Uh, but uh, actually later you can set 100 uh, percent if you want full voltage we will test it later well let's do it later because now you probably don't understand what i mean uh, uh the next uh, in the next episode uh, not episode but in the next um, next in this video i will start reply no several time and show you screen there and here without any comments so I think you got the point. I want to see the real voltage.
Uh, well, guys, you have seen about six volts. I think the current, we are not interested about the current at the moment. We can uh, decide about it uh, later. So we have 100 uh, millivolts uh, for one ampere uh, on the probe and we have one volt uh, cell here. But we don't think about the current now, we think about the voltage. So if you have, if you watched this video about this rig, uh, you probably have seen there all uh, my attempts uh, with 10%, with 50, with 75, and I found that uh, with 8 volts, it's more or less do steering well, but not less. So, if I wouldn't monitor the voltage, I probably would already respond yes here, and I think it, it is not good to respond yes at that moment. So, I will continue do no. But I now want to see the movement, actually, so that I can reply, uh, well, so that I can uh, understand what is the voltage applied uh, uh, when it's do the movement. Something like that. I don't know yet, because it's quite inconvenient to do alone, but let's try. So, well, I decided differently. I show you uh, the outboard and you have seen quite a nice good movement on the starboard from something like that position to something like this one. And I was watching to here. I have seen uh, 7 volts here. Probably it's okay to respond yes now and then uh, see in the settings how much percentage from 100 it is. So if I understand 100 is 12 volt and uh, 7 will be, I will do calculation later. So now I need to meditate how I want to continue, but you will see it quite soon, right now. 58 percent if I'm right, uh, 7 volt from 12 volts, yeah? So let's try reply yes, then see in settings what will be there, how the procedure will continue and then do something else. I don't know yet what. Well, guys, you have seen I replied yes, and then it asked about apply high voltage. So 7 volts is considered already high. Why do we want uh, a low voltage? Well, it's obvious because of heating or over usage of power from your battery or your alternator. Why we don't want low voltage? Well, it's also quite clear because we want uh, stable steering. Yeah, low voltage will be not enough. Okay, we replied. So. Uh, if we are correct that 7 volts is 58 percent, we will see it soon and it's considered to be high voltage for the computer. Then it asked to move, uh, to rotate to the starboard, that I did. And now the next step I know will be about uh, uh, hold the button and release it when it hit the port, when the outboard hit the port. And once I release it, it will try uh, to return to the middle and if it will be middle it will be nice but the most interesting will be to monitoring voltage and the current at the end when at the lock when it hits the port side so that's what i want to see let's try to do it
And guys, we failed. Yeah, it says that calibration completed, but we are not in the middle. It is a problem. Uh, and you have seen more than nine volts in uh, one direction and then about four in the opposite direction. I have to rewatch the video to analyze what was the current. And guys, I released the button by hearing the outboard uh, because I, I was monitoring what is going on here. And we have seen quite uh, wrong sound when it's try to return from the lock position. So you have seen like and then I release and then <laughs> something like that. So it means that it's stuck in the lock position, which is not good. Usually it means the air in the system, but you can rewatch all the video about bleeding if you don't trust that the system is bled. Uh, so I don't know, is it about the voltage or somewhere I have seen that is some bug here or in the computer. So probably, I don't know. Some people tell that uh, you can still consider it calibrated. Uh, I don't know yet how I will continue. I will meditate about it. But now let's just check the settings. Uh, well, guys, conclusion for this part. Uh, you have seen uh, settings for output, minimum, maximum, uh, 69-70%. Let's say 70%. Yeah, so this is about 9 volts that we have seen there. Uh, well, voltmeter is not exactly uh, the good way to show because this is PWM, uh, but, but it's okay. So, and uh, you have seen that with uh, uh, these settings that we have, 70, yeah, so during calibration it's apply this 70 in one direction, but doesn't apply in another. And that is the bug. So I will dedicate the second part of this video to this bug. But as for now, you have seen the procedure of the calibration. So it's fine. We will also make a conclusion about uh, what this calibration does. Is it okay or not to leave it this way? We will make this conclusion in the next part. So if you are subscribed, you will get notification. Or probably I will publish them both in the same time simultaneously. I'm not yet sure. I also now already know because I have been in the water after that I tested virtual feedback that I also know that I can uh, do uh, it can work uh, nicely so probably it will be the third part of this video but guys in this part you have seen what the calibration procedure does and how it is performed and that was the main point of this part see you in the next part